morning. Good morning. Good morning, my auntie babies and boogie boogies. Auntie, it is 5.46 in the morning. It's time for me to get up. But I'm trying to come with part two of the prison story. Because I'm trying to come live this morning too also. So I'm taking from y'all know I had auntie here got on house arrest. Yes, they sentenced me two years house arrest, which I wasn't on no damn house arrest they was. At least I thought. <laughs> so I was on house arrest and you know I was gonna try to do this house arrest thing. I went enrolled in Wilford Academy School. You know, I was going to school to be a, a cosmetologist. I had already took cosmetology one time when I was in high school, but you know, I let my life, the, the stuff expire. So I said, hell, you know, I just go to school because you either had to get a job or go to school. But you know, I was a young girl Wow, he jumped up and bought me a brand new car. Yeah, I did hustling. I bought me a, another car. I already had one car that my daddy had bought me, a Chevy Impala, but I went and bought me a Cavalier. It was the same year that one was in. You know one thinking they had no damn job. Just when he got me a brand new stank ass car. Didn't know. <laughs> People was going to wonder how, did, how could I pay for that car. So I just told him I was paying for it through the um my college education money, which um they was giving us like $300 a month, but they was taking out, I don't know if y'all heard about that scandal about Wilford Academy School, how they beat everybody out their money. And now they got us on thousand and thousand of dollars on that student loan. Well, I am one of those person. And also, somebody else I know. So, you know, but the thing is, I didn't stop selling drugs. I didn't stop. I was still selling drugs on house arrest. Matter of fact, I made more money. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. On house arrest selling drugs. Because here I am. I tried to beat the system. I went to school in the daytime. And I was out there hustling late at night. Because, you know, when you're on house arrest, they come out by a certain time. 11 to 12 be the latest they will come if they're going to show up to your house. You know, I call myself. I didn't have the, uh, during that time, they didn't put you on the ankle moniker and stuff like that. You know, you gave them your word, you're going to stay your ass in the house. So, but I was still running my business. You know, I say, Elfie, you know. I, I got to still live, and I'm going to still hustle. I'm still making me some money because I knew that I was on house arrest for somebody else. You know, I'm taking a route for them. So that's how Auntie continued to sell her dope. But then, you know, I had to make trips because I, during that time, I had made a connection down there in Fort Myers, Florida. So many days, I run out. Cause you know, when it comes to drugs, you can't buy enough drugs. You really can't. Cause you buy, you run out so fast, you have to get more cause you're making more money. And you know, when I went, I was buying like $4,000 at one time. And I come home, that $4,000 worth of drugs be gone so fast. I have to just turn around and take a trip like every other day because, you know, I was mostly selling to the street. The people who was getting out down the streets, I just sell them my parlays, which like half of my thumb for like, you know, 
if they want to make some money, ten and twenty dollars, and which they could make eighty dollars out of it. Which I've been don't cut the parlays because I go down to Fort Myers on Anderson Road and pick up my package. I don't know if you know if you if you don't know about Anderson Road and Fort Myers, you don't know Fort Myers. Anderson Road was basic court. Those different places where I used to go pick up my um, drugs and stuff. Like I say, I'm on house arrest. I'm all down there in Fort Myers. One and two o'clock in the morning. At Big John House picking up package. And you know, this this is what's going on. I'm supposed to have my ass on house arrest, but... Every time I was out of town, I would get people to take me out of town. Or either I would drive one of my cars. But most of the time, I like for people to take me because I didn't like going in my car. And I, I'm, I'm supposed to have my ass in the goddamn house. I'm all down here in Fort Myers. Trying to find, try, going to pick up packaging. So anyway, I was just continuing to do what I was doing, hustling, going to school. Used to go to school every day, <laughs> making the school, you know, because I went to, I was just taking those trips like every other day or whatever you know and i know y'all probably said well why you ain't just buying like ten thousand dollars worth you know i didn't want to risk that because i knew that i was on house arrest and i knew the little town that i was in and knowing me my probation officer he used to come out there to see me and it was just weird how he always wanted to check the oil in my car See, this man was, he didn't want to check no oil. He was wanting to check the mileage on my car because he knew that I was supposed to be on house arrest. And he wanted to see how many miles have, have I been driving. And, you know, I was slick. I thought I was. I said, well, you know, I be letting my nieces and them use my car. My nieces and nephews, they use my car. I be here in the house sleep. Oh, I just wanted to see how it's running. But this was a nasty probation officer. He took his job too serious. I mean, he took his job way beyond the probation officer, if you ice not to. He always wanted to check the oil, and, and, but he was looking at my mouth. He said, okay. He said, everything okay. I said, yeah. He said, you know, your urine came back dirty. I said, well, I don't do no drugs. I don't know why the hell they keep coming back dirty. Knowing my dumb ass, well, I wasn't dumb. Well, I say I just didn't know. Because when the dope game came, a lot of things we found out. By handling the cocaine with your hands, that stuff was so pure that it go into your pores and into your body. I didn't know that. I didn't know that at all until the dude in Fort Myers told me, he said, I said, my urine keep coming up dirty. He said, hell yeah, it gonna keep coming up dirty. He said, you need to go get you some gloves. I said, get some gloves? He said, yeah. He said, cause when you touch that stuff, it goes through your body. And he say, it's just that pure, baby. You coming down here, you getting the pure stuff. Why you run out so fast? I say, that's why my urine keep coming up dirty. This is leading up to on my black ass going to prison. <laughs> so I get the gloves, y'all. That stuff was so strong to it. I don't know. I must have was wearing the wrong gloves. It still came through the goddamn gloves. 
And they told me again, say, you know, Miss Brown, your urine is coming in dirt. Now, you want to go ahead on and admit you're using drugs, let us know. But we can get you some help. I say, no, I'm not using drugs. Well, why your urine keep coming up dirty? You got to be doing drugs. No, I wasn't using drugs, y'all. I was still selling. <laughs> yeah. Auntie was still selling the damn drugs. And I'm going to leave y'all with this one, and I'm going to come back with y'all tomorrow with another one because I'm trying to do like 10 minutes at a time. And I hope y'all enjoying these stories. Yes, Auntie was still, I wasn't using them, but I was not doing that time. But I was still selling them. Okay, Auntie Babies and Boogie Woogies, y'all enjoy your day. And I'll see y'all tomorrow with part three. And don't get nothing on you. But I'll see y'all in a few hours because Auntie going to try to do a little live too. And drop some more videos. I'm going to try to keep busy as, as much as possible. And I hope y'all watched the video that I did about the um the man, the lady. That always happening to our poor black men. We really got to stick together. Every time we can't live in nice places, she want us she wanted the black dude to show her the lease and all this mess. All right, but um y'all take take that out on what's his name page, Moore Lawrence page. You know, he I like watching him. But anyway, Auntie Babies and Boogie Woogies, don't get nothing on you. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Like and subscribe to Loretta Brown YouTube channel. Bye.